What is up everybody? Today we are going to learn how to build a pig shelter for under $250. But first, I just want to start off by saying over this last year, we have moved and we have decided to go into the homestead farming. And in that, we have picked up egg laying chickens and so we've got some goats and we're getting ready to build a pig shelter today because we're going to be getting three pigs. Two of them are going to be raised for 4-H. Brayton and Gavin are going to take them off to uh, the Star County Fair and they're going to enter them into the 4-H uh, market program. And another one we're going to keep for the freezer, for our meat, for us. Bacon. We're also going to be doing meat chickens this year. We did meat chickens a little bit last year. We experimented with it and we really liked the results. So this year we're going to be building three chicken tractors, which I hope to do a video on that as well, where we show you how we build the chicken tractors. And we're going to be getting 60 chickens at a time and hopefully doing maybe three to four sets of chickens this year and set them off and really just have the freezer full of chickens. So like we said at the beginning of this video, we're going to go and make a pig shelter for under $250. But before I do that, I want to toss this video over to Gavin and he's going to show you the morning routine of how we take care of the current animals that we have. What's up guys let's go take care of the animals. Each morning we start the goats off with a couple handfuls of hay. Then once you're done with that walk over here. Uh, grab the waterer. Fill it up with the rain barrel that we built. Then, once done with all that stuff, come out here into this stress can. Give the goats some grain. And here is our goat coop. We just keep them all in here. We have their waterer. It's just a bucket that hangs on the wall. They have a hay feeder back there. And then they have little buckets for their food. And chickens just like to come in here because they like to eat the goat's grain if it spills. So inside of here, we have our chicken coop. We have two of our chickens nesting, probably are sitting on eggs. And this chicken feeder right down here. They just come in here when they want food, step on it, and they can get their food. There's chicken if I want to. Right up here we have ourselves a solar light, so I might want to come and close them up. I can check their eggs to see if there's anything in here, and just close them up without a flashlight. So there you have it. That pretty much wraps up my morning routine. So here in the future, we're going to get uh, meat chickens, we're going to get more egg layers, we're going to get pigs, and we're going to get turkeys which is probably gonna make my morning a little longer. But what do you do? We enjoy it and we have fun with it. Now let's go build a pig shelter. So one of the issues we ran into making this video is that we had the typical Ohio weather where we had a lot of snow and rain at the same time. So unfortunately we weren't able to provide footage all throughout the build but I was able to get plenty of footage of like the progress and the different sections of the build but unfortunately like I said we just don't have the equipment to be able to be out in the rain and the snow filming so we got as best as we can but I'm sure you'll you'll still like it and you'll get to see the finished product so all right so we're going to show you the area where we plan to put the pigs in the pig shelter over there you can see the goats and all the chickens and the coop and over here we've got our nice little barn then we keep a lot of our supplies and everything in and we plan to put the pig shelter right up against this barn right over here and then we plan to fence in this whole area down here so you can get a good look at that oh yeah there it is look at all that beautiful mud it's just going to be turned into more mud with our pigs uh the fence that we put in will be about a 40 by 40 by 40 by 40 however you say that in carpentry terms that's going to make for quite a large space 
down here for these pigs. And I know that's probably more space than what these pigs actually need because we're only doing three. But the plan is, is that if we really enjoy doing this pig thing and, um, which I think we will, that we'd like to be able to add on and maybe add two or three more additional pigs and have five next year. And if we do that, we're gonna need a little bit more space because ultimately they're gonna make a mess. And if we give them less space, I'm hoping, or if we give them more space, I mean, I'm hoping that it won't cause them to mess it up as bad, but who knows, I've got four kids and we thought if we gave them more space, they wouldn't mess it up as bad and they made it worse. All right, so let's get back to this pig shelter. All right, what you see here is we've got some nice two by fours when you frame this in. This is essentially gonna become the frame of our whole thing. This is gonna be our back wall. We won't be putting a floor in here because pigs are just downright nasty. And uh, where we put them, we'll just throw hay down and that'll be what they use for their floor. But we needed something that we could start building around and this is the foundation here. So we've just taken these two by fours and we framed in this piece of plywood for the back. Uh, we may drop another one down the middle here. We'll see how sturdy it is. I like how it is. Wiggle it a little bit, Gavin. I like how sturdy it is, especially when we're going to be putting the rest of this frame in here. And uh, so I just want to give you an update. All right, so I got some of the other boys out here helping me. Landon, he's kind of hiding. But as you can see, this is that weather we were talking about. So where we're at now is we've just cut our first wall. And now we're evaluating if we like the angle. I think we do. Um, it's kind of extreme. I may actually cut it down, but the plan was, as you can see where Gavin's at in the back, he wouldn't be able to stand, but if he were to walk towards the front where Jameson's at here, he could definitely stand in there, and that was kind of what I wanted, is that if we're trying to clean this out, I want to be able to get my head under there and rake it out if I need to without having to duck, and as it sits right now, we would definitely be able to do that, and it's a pretty good pitch right there, and that's going to keep the water from sitting on there and causing this wood to really rot out. And we're gonna paint it when it's all said and done anyways, but uh, just wanna kinda show you a little bit where we're at, so here we go. All right, so here it is. We aren't done, we are not done. But I wanted to show you the progress. We've got our walls, we've got a roof, the framing is starting to come together and look clean. Uh, you might say it looks like a manger, but guess what? Jesus was born in a manger, and Jesus loves pigs. We love bacon, so therefore, we're pretty much Christ-like. So, in all of this said and done, I just want to show you where we were at. Um, these walls on the side here that we got the framing, we are having a debate in the household right now on whether or not to do a little two foot high wall or to do a full wall. I was thinking about going two foot high and then doing chicken wire to the rest of the way up uh, because I'm thinking about eventually later on putting a door in this big gap right here. And if I do that, this can actually serve as a chicken coop. We have a chicken coop already, nice one, but uh, there's always times where you may need an extra chicken coop to kind of move the chickens around from one pasture to another. And I just thought this would be awesome if it had a door on it because we could do that. Um, so that's just my thought process. But anyways, we are about to wrap it up for the rest of the day here. I just want to show you the progress and we'll pick it back up tomorrow morning and hopefully finish it off. So there you go. What is up? We did it. There it is. It's finished. The pig shelter under $250. And that is including paint and all the other stuff that we are going to buy when we calculated it. We should still be well under $250. We've got plywood, two by fours, and a couple of, what is it, two by sixes, I think is what we ended up going with. But I just wanted to show you where we're at. This is what we're we're good and happy with this for now. If the pigs came today, I would throw them out there in the, the fence and let them use this shelter. If we uh, get a little further down the road here, we are gonna paint it. Uh, our choice is red and white, just because what's better than a red and white barnish looking shelter. So we will paint this. I do wanna put a black uh, tin roof on the top of it. And when all is said and done with all of that, we will be completely finished with it and it'll be out. And like I said, eventually we may put a little chicken wire on here and be able to double this as a chicken coop by putting a little bit of a, a door or something to uh, lock this up at night. But for the most part, we're done. We're really happy with it. It's kind of heavy. So if you do build this in a place that you're not planning on keeping it, make sure you have yourself a couple people that are, are handy to help you move it or whatever you would use to move it. It's, it's gonna take me and a couple of my 
stronger boys to get this thing moved to where we need to get it moved so anyways here it is i hope you uh enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe like this video comment anything that you want to comment is if you like the shelter if you have any questions on how we did it if you have any advice for us on what we did we'd love to hear from you till next time